Shabbat Shalom, L'chaim, L'chaim. This week's Torah portion is Devarim. And we're actually going to go straight from Shabbos into the fast of Tisha B'Av. And so I want to focus on what is typically done on Tisha B'Av, even though this year I think we won't have you know, a fast, but we'll celebrate the final redemption, the Gula. But what is typical on Tisha B'Av is to read the Book of Lamentations called Echa. And this word Eicha is very unique in that it's only mentioned three times throughout the whole Tanakh. And one of them is actually in this week's Torah portion. It's called, it's in Devarim, mentioned by Moshe. And so of the three places, I think it's mentioned by Moshe, by Isaiah, and by Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is the last one he's speaking about. Um, his book, Lamentations, is called, or the book, Lamentations, is called Eicha. But... The three times that's mentioned, the first one is this week's portion where Moshe says, How, Eicha, how can I handle your burden any longer? How can I hold up all your complaints? Basically, he's expressing that it's too tough to be a leader of this whole group. It's too tough for me to hold all the weight of all your needs. And as he's about to pass away, he's expressing this is something that you guys are going to have to come to terms with. You're going to have to learn to stand up for yourselves, to no longer be complacent, to speak up. Otherwise, we'll get to the second Eicha. The second Eicha is this idea of Isaiah expressing how Jerusalem has become almost like a prostitute, has descended into idolatry and bad ways, uh, prostitution and whatnot. It's become corrupted. It says when a person doesn't stand up for their ideals, when a person doesn't open their mouth and say what is in their heart, you know, defend what they believe, then they, them, they themselves are going to descend in terms of their moral compass. They're going to be swayed, they're going to be pushed, they're going to be suppressed. And that's what happens if a person doesn't, if, remain, if they remain complacent and they don't speak up. Finally, if a person were to continue on this path, we'll get to the final Eicha which is mentioned by Jeremiah. And he's saying, how has Jerusalem become this way? Destroyed in rubbles, burnt up. He's talking about the ultimate, the destruction of Jerusalem, the destruction of the temples, which is what Tisha B'Av commemorates. And he's saying, if a person were to remain this way, after their moral compass has been swayed, after they have been suppressed by others, they will end up in utter ruin. They will end up destroyed. I think the lesson of Devarim and the lesson that we have to learn going into Tisha B'Av is to no longer remain complacent, no longer be pushed aside by the Romans or any other people that are coming to oppress or suppress us. We have to stand up for what we believe. We have to mention, we have to say what we are fighting for, what we believe in. We have to be a Jew. We have to be an Ivri on the other side when the whole world is looking at us. So as Rat Hashem, we shall all merit to open our mouths, to say what we believe, to have the confidence and the self-esteem to speak up against injustices and to stand up for all those that we believe in and what we ultimately believe in. Shabbat Shalom.